since we are in the human action phase of an explore turn, I took advantage of the free movement to conduct some uh, counter movement off camera just to speed things up a little bit. So we have free reign because we control the spaces in the lift shaft corridor all the way up the shaft to the ring here. We have this whole corridor under our control as well as the machine shop. So during this kind of off camera stuff, uh, free movement, Brooks runs down to the machine shop with Lazinski. As Lazinski is able to work on Brooks' rifle and jam that, Brooks goes back up and, join, and joins the rest of his team plus Coons and they are going to prepare to deploy to the computer room. Garrison and Norton are going to hold the central corridor there in adjacent to the chem lab and geo lab and protect Koinsky. And Kraus, Lusinski, and Mo will move down here to the outside the med lab. And they will be joined by Cowan and Pruitt. I'm getting stretched thin up here, so we're going to abandon this corridor, take the car, and then free move down here. And that is how we are set up or how we finished our uh, human action phase. So let's go over here. Nothing to do in the alien action phase. Orbit phase. Let's move that timer to six. Pattison and Brooks deploy into the computer room. And Kraus and Lazinski will deploy to the med lab. So let's move on to the discovery phase. Okay, the only spaces we deployed into were rooms, so we'll resolve first up here in the computer room. Roll it, so that means we use the discovery procedure, and we're less likely to undergo an ambush. So we draw two counters, or roll a two, and then draw two counters. One is a suit patch, and that uh, can be placed anywhere, and we're gonna. It'll come in handy for Coinski, perhaps, or anyone else who gets injured. So we're just going to place that on that spot. And then we also drew the ring stop event. So the, com the uh, ship's computer is kind of going haywire or acting on its own, and it automates, automates the ring stop. And so everything goes from a gravity environment. The whole ring goes from a gravity environment to non-gravity. So everything automatically, every unit, every... Um, item moves three spaces to the south as the ring comes to a complete stop. One, two, three. They slam up against that shaft, or shaft, the door there, hatch. And then in here, Krausk and Lazinski are slammed into the wall. And all three here slam into that hatch. And Besides the ring now being in zero gravity, it means that we lose a full turn. Our next, sorry, we lose another action phase. So we're basically, in, in effect, going to lose an entire orbital decay turn over this. And from here on out, we'll be operating in zero-g environment. So we roll for discovery down here in the med lab and roll a five. So there's no event to worry about. That has now been explored. And that is the end of the discovery phase. Okay, so here's the state of the board after the ring stop. And we miss our human action phase. So we'll skip past that. And fortunately there's no aliens on the board, so we'll skip past that. Orbit phase, we move that to a five. And there's no discovery, so we are going to start Another turn. Explore turn. Okay, free movement here, and then we control this whole corridor, central corridor, and we control the med lab and the computer room. So we can free move in and out as we please. Brooks, Pattison, Baldwin, and Coons will prepare to deploy to the life support room. Garrison and Norton are going to move up here into the computer room. Garrison will take the patch, the suit patch. We'll put that in his card there. 
And then obviously Norton is here. He is going to try to hack that ram dump during the orbit turn. And down here, we're going to abandon the med lab. Krauss and Lazinski will hold this corridor. Mo, Cowan, and Pruitt are going to move up here. And they'll move Poinsky up to the hatch. And they're going to stand guard over her. And that is the end of the movement phase. So we're getting kind of strung out here. Uh, we're only going to make one deployment this turn, just because we got to want to take that, get that ram dump, and then we got to hold this core, all these corridors here, because I want to explore some more rooms, but without having to make a re leaving the corridor and re-entering and possibly suffering uh, another alien encounter and ambush. Into the human action phase, no alien action phase, orbit phase, advance the timer to turn four. Pattison and Brooks will deploy into life support. And we are now going to move to the discovery phase. And in life support, we roll a four, and there's no encounter. So let's put an explore token up there. Mark that we've been in. So we're covering some ground. Unfortunately, we have not come across any more crew, but fortunately we haven't had to endure any more attacks. So the goal here is to explore the last of these, uh, as many of these rooms up here as we can. Hopefully we'll get some positive encounters and account for some crew. Okay, I have one go back here from the previous orbit phase. Um, Norton, I uh, failed to mention Norton hacked the ram dump, made it a hack attempt. That can only be done during an explore turn. It can only be done during the orbit phase. So at the same point that Pattison and Brooks made their entry into life support, Norton makes a hack attempt on the ram dump, and he has a few positive modifiers there. You get one for being, he's the hacker. Uh, it's in the computer room. And then because it's during an orbit phase, uh, there's three positive modifiers. He succeeds his role, extracts the ram dump, so that'll go into his inventory. And he can examine that during an explore phase. Sorry, um, a human action phase of an explore turn. So, anyway, now we've we ro rolled for li in life support for an encounter, didn't get anything. We're caught up now. So, human action phase of the next turn. And we're going to do a bunch of free movement here. So, let's see. These four guys are going to prepare to enter the expeditionary equipment room. These guys are going to move here in a minute. Um, all of Team 2, that's these three surviving people, let's go here. And Garrison and Norton are going to join in the hallway. These guys are going to hold. Garrison and Norton will hold and be a rapid reaction force along with Mo and Kraus and Lozinski will deploy into there during the orbit phase. Pattison and Brooks will deploy there, and then Cowan and Pruitt will deploy or will hold the corridor with Koinsky. Okay, so that is our human action phase. Alien action phase, nothing to do. Orbit phase, let's move that timer from a four to a three. Pattison and Brooks deploy into the expeditionary equipment room. Krauss and Lozinski deploy into the bio lab. And we have no other actions to perform during this phase, so we'll move the, to discovery. Okay, up in expeditionary equipment, we're using a discovery procedure. We roll on the die a two. Draw two counters from the bag. One is Slavin, a live crew member. This is great news. And he is cowering in this room with the remains of some dead crew. So we resolve the event right away and flip it over. We've got one mangled corpse there that Slavin has been hiding with. So that will go into our 
accounted for crew box. Oh, real quick here, I have another go back. During the uh, free movement phase, before Norton ran down the hall here, he was in that computer space and examined the ram dump, and that accounts for three crew. So, another go back. Okay, so we have seven crew now, dead crew accounted for, and two live crew. So we're up to nine of the 15 we're looking for. Because we found dead crew and they are mutilated, uh, the humans, Marines, undergo a panic check. Pattison is, he fails that panic check and is, yeah, panics. Uh, it's for no real effect though because that panic will go away at the end of the next human action phase. Down here, these guys hold that corridor, and in here, we roll for discovery, and we find a med kit. And so that was a fortunate turn there. Uh, no aliens, and we accounted for two more crew, one of them being live. So that crew member will help us cover some more ground and hold corridors. And we are also getting pretty close to the running into those orbit markers down there and once we hit the re-entry marker we have to go to mandatory combat turns and that means up in this now at zero G up here we're moving really slow got to get to the hatch got to get 13 humans from that lift car down here and all the way back to the marine shuttle I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna approach this yet um, I may start splitting some guys off to go back down as much as I hate doing this I'm gonna have to do it anyway and re-enter here and if we control those spaces once we're running down at least we won't have to go through any um, ambush checks as we're uh, kind of that last um, last part of the game there it kind of turns into a race back to the ship so if we can go ahead and get those those corridors open and controlled while we still have some time left on the orbital decay, I may do that.